Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 15th to the 21st of March 2021. Let's pull your overarching oracle card Aries and see what we get. So what do we have for Aries please, Angel Spirits Guides? 15th to the 21st of March 2021. Moving into Aries season, so happy birthday Aries for those of you who um, have birthdays towards the end of March. Okay, um, we have on your soul's purpose, we have soul's path. Now this can be a card of aligning to where you need to be and it's where you truly need to be. I mean, I definitely see this as part of destiny. definitely deeply connected to who you are as a person um, where you're meant to be you know it, it definitely feels like alignment energy to me let's see what else we get so what do we have for Aries please angels spirits guides message for our lovely Aries 15th to the 21st of March 2021 okay we have <laughs> It's interesting we've got warriors because you are the warrior of the zodiac. Um, angel warriors. Angels oversee your life and protect you. You're being protected. Oh my goodness. And aligned and watched over your soul. There's a lot of divine energy here, Aries. Um, a lot of divine energy aligned to your soul purpose. Now this is connecting to your soul power, your soul light, um, connecting to your intuition, paying attention to signs, symbols, messages, information, significant things happening, coincidences even, you know, it's that kind of energy. Okay. But you're absolutely being protected. Okay, so I'm going to pull three cards, as you know. The first card is the issue or challenge you face, Aries. The second card is advice from spirit. Third card is your future outcome. Then we clarify, go deeper into the message, as we always do. And it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. I'm using Morgan Greer and Hansen Roberts this week. We've got the Four of Pentacles in the challenge position. Six of Swords is advice from spirit. And we have, oh my goodness, <laughs> the Nine of Cups, my goodness, Aries. And it's interesting because this is a card of alignment. You know, we don't talk about this with the Nine of Cups, but it is a card of being exactly where the universe wants you to be. Okay, so what do we have for Aries, please? Can we clarify these cards? On the table for Aries, thank you. Message for Aries, thank you. 15th to the 21st of March, 2021. Message for Aries. Queen of Cups. Six of Swords. We have the Ten of Cups. Oh my, you know, again the Hermit, a card of alignment. Um, the Hermit and the Nine of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the victory card, the chariot. Okay, Aries. Let's clarify what this Nine of Cups means to you. Let's clarify what this Nine of Cups means to Aries, please. Angels, spirits, guides.
let's clarify what this Nine of Cups means to Aries. Thank you. Six of Cups. It's interesting, Aries, because I have the Sun energy bottom of this deck as well. I'm going to put that down because I, when I look at the bottom of the deck, I, I generally put it down, but the Sun is there. Okay. It feels Aries. I mean, the, the Queen of Cups can be in terms of... She can represent somebody in your life. I mean, it could be, she generally is a card of Cancer. I've got two cards of Cancer here, so you might be dealing with a Cancerian energy, um, male or female. Um, but it, it feels in this situation, the, the Four of Pentacles It definitely feels in this situation wanting to protect yourself or take control. I mean, there's a kind of energy of holding on to something. There's a kind of energy of protection, self-protection, self-preservation with this Four of Pentacles energy. And it feels it's to do with matters of the heart. You know, that Queen of Cups can be a person in your life. You know, the Queen of Cups can also be somebody in your life who is giving you compassionate advice. You know, parents, uh, you know, close bond, friendship, siblings, call it what you will. Um, it might well be for somebody, you know, you might be asking advice from somebody here as well. This can be somebody who is very connected to who they are. They, they, they're a good listener. They give compassionate advice. You know, because this, this four of cups can rep sorry, this four of pentacles can represent stability, security, or the wanting to bring stability back in your life or back into a relationship. The wanting to protect something um, but it's a challenge it's a challenge so either somebody that you're dealing with in a relationship or somebody who might be giving you advice to do with it feels to do with a relationship here Aries because there has been stress there has been anxiety there has been worry there has been choppy waters choppy times rocky patch now, you know, something could have affected your relationship or it could be within the relationship itself. Something that you've both been through or it can be to do with the relationship itself. But it feels like you want to preserve and protect it. It feels like you want to bring the stability back into a relationship. And the Six of Swords is saying that you have the ability to heal something. You have the ability to put difficult times behind you and bring calmer waters, you know, into your life. This is moving from choppy waters to calmer waters. We see the picture a lot um, in tarot, but it is essentially about, it might be to do with communication is key here. Opening lines of communication, expressions of truth, enable you to overcome any choppy times you have certainly in terms of a relationship this can also be about moving relocating uh, so moving home relocating or just physically putting challenges behind you and just finding the calm again so it definitely feels like you've been challenged in a relationship but you you know, the Ten of Cups is a long-term relationship, marriage, uh, family, can be family. I mean, it's not limited to that, but it, it is the blissful relationship, the harmony. So there is healing. There is the release of 
stress, anxiety, upset here that spirit is telling you. You're not quite at the end game yet, but you're finding the solution, the way forward in how you're going to bring harmony back into the relationship. Now, like I said, this can be something that's affected your relationship or the relationship itself. And the message is that you will find a way through. You will find a way through to, you know, happier times. Yeah. You might be, you know, you might be asking for answers from somebody. I'm just getting this, Aries. You might be asking for answers from somebody or they might be asking answers from you. Again, I'm definitely feeling this communication energy here. But I also feel the Hermit is about healing. It's about finding illumination. And what is illumination? The knowledge, the wisdom, the answer that you seek from within on how you need to take action in your external environment to get back the happiness that you once had because it feels that there is enough happiness memories nostalgia to hold on to here in the relationship so this is about healing but the message is that yeah you will you will get it back. I'm definitely getting this reconnection energy, reconnection to each other as well. You know, it definitely feels in this energy there is healing, but you're coming through a situation, you're going to conquer it. You will overcome the challenge that you face with victory and success and put it behind you. And the sun is a card of restoration. It's a card of healing, restoration, and these two people have come through that brick wall, you know, they've come through the other side of a block, a roadblock here. Um, but this is the feel good energy, the vibrancy, the growth, um, the success, you know, the, the warmth, uh, the positive energy, good news, celebration, joy, happiness, finding the joy again. Um, it feels like there's some kind of heart to heart that needs to be had here, Aries. Um, definitely some deep connective energy that is going to realign you to getting you back on track. Uh, you're absolutely being aligned by spirit here towards your heart's desire. I mean, this could be... <laughs> I'm, I'm also getting here, Aries. For some of you, it could be a childhood sweetheart. I don't know why I'm saying that, but, you know, I say what I, you know, what I feel in the cards. Uh, some of you, you know, you could be dealing with a childhood sweetheart, which is why, you know, there's a deep connection here that is too good to release from, you know, and it feels like you might have gone through some rocky patch. It's not limited to the childhood sweetheart, but for some of you, it could well be. It can also be for some of you that there are children to consider, family to consider here, and there is a definite energy on both sides to just bring the healing back. And this is healing complete, the sun. This is, you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. It's a rocky patch, but you're going to be okay. Communication is key. Okay, so final message for Aries, please. Final message for Aries. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hidden depths. You know, I mean, the, the hermit is deep introspection, contemplation. Um, you might have spent some alone time here to get some answers as well, to find the way forward. Um, you know, the hidden depths, we have something hidden is about to come to light, perhaps a secret memory at the back of your, a secret or memory at the back of your mind. When we expose what's hidden, we can become free. You know, it feels for some of you, we need to, uh, there's deep feelings here and they need to be brought to the surface. And as soon as they are, we have victory. You know, and the chariot, you know, is a card of victory. 
taking the reins, taking the driving seat, taking control. But you know, we have the canopy of the night sky watching over you on this journey towards victory and success. So you are going to come through the other side of it and it definitely feels for some of you um, stronger than ever, stronger than ever. I hope you enjoyed the reading Aries. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.